Roughly a year ago, I ranked every single Project Zomboid melee weapon in this here video, and uh, there were some controversial opinions apparently. A lot of people disagreed with some of my choices of S tier and some of my F tier choices. And uh, you know what? Videos like that are always very subjective, so you can't really appease everybody when you rank things like that. So today I am ranking my personal favorite weapons. That's how we're gonna do this, not why I objectively think is the best weapon no we're gonna rank everything on how i feel which weapons are the best so let's start first on the list we have axes and the fire axe everybody knows it's a very good weapon it chops things down especially zombies very fast but also trees it's very good and useful to to have one and in my original ranking i put this a bit below the s tier because i said i prefer to use it as a tool to chop down trees rather than as a weapon and a lot of people got really pissed at that still i think it's an amazing weapon but it's not s tier weapon for me personally i'm gonna put it up here in the high a tier then we go down to hand axe uh this is a great sidearm it's 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 gonna do its job when chopping down zombies it's of course not my preferred like main weapon but still it's a decent one we're gonna put it up here in the b tier because it's gonna get its job done then we go to pickaxe dudes i love pickaxe it just it just feels so good to use it unfortunately it's very rare and hard to find and it's it's pretty heavy so it might get you tired if you use it too much but it just it's just so satisfying to use and hear that crunch when you crack down a zombie skull i think this this is an s tier weapon yes over the fire axe in my personal opinion and then we go down to stone axe uh the stoner axe unfortunately not as good as the hand axe this is uh this is one of those weapons that you use if you don't have anything else unless you're going like full-on lumberjack and you're going full-on foraging and you just have a million of these yes but that's like a separate play style in its own so i'm gonna put this one down here in the d tier and then last but not least of the axes we have the wood axe i am not the biggest fan of this one as a weapon yes it's a tool it's great to chop down trees but as a weapon it is too slow it is definitely too slow it does a lot of damage for sure uh, so it's great if you're fighting like one zombie at a time but let's be real the way i play this game i never fight just one zombie at a time which means this one is not very usable as a weapon so i'm gonna have to put it down here in the c tier and look how nicely these axes line up i like this moving on we have a bass guitar over here and this one is basically here for all different guitars it it you know it's just all guitars not just this one and uh, unfortunately while they might look fun to use and yes i know that they have different amount of damage and weight and all that stuff still if you have to use a guitar as a weapon eh, you're probably fucked uh we're gonna put this down here in the f tier and then we go to dumbbells dumbbells pretty heavy not very useful as a weapon unfortunately uh, i would not recommend using these unless you know you're running some mods where you can actually rework these into like a warhammer or something like that you know scrap weapons and stuff like that uh so um yeah as just dumbbells itself as a weapon they're also f tier unfortunately then we have the good old baseball bat oh man do i love baseball bats it's it's such a good weapon it, it feels good to use it i really really like it uh but i think i'm gonna have to put it up here in the a tier with the fire axe these two weapons are both amazing but they're not s tier amazing you know in my at least in my opinion they're like if you find them when you don't have weapons you're like holy balls on a chopstick yes i won this hell yeah you're excited when you find one of these weapons and you get to use them but they're not s tier excitement so let's put these over here and let's take a look at the broomstick or just the broom um there's a mod that allows you to make this one into a spear which then makes it good but otherwise yeah we're gonna have to we're gonna have to add it down here in the f tier pile unfortunately it's just not so good but then we have the good old crowbar man oh man is this weapon good like this shit never breaks it lasts forever it deals a ton of damage sure it's gonna get you tired a bit faster than let's say using a, a knife to stick zombies but dudes this thing is gonna mow down hordes and hordes and if you watched my strong woman playthrough you know how much damage i dealt with that you know how many tens of thousands of zombies 
I killed with crowbars. And uh, speaking of strong woman, there's a 200 days version coming in the next couple of weeks. I have two multiplayer projects I'm working on before that one. You know, working on three videos at the same time kind of sucks because if I just focused on one, I could actually have that one out already. But, you know, I am the way I am. So I'm working on three at the same time, not actually finishing one. But that's beside the point in this video. What we we're looking at is this crowbar. And yes, this is a hell of a yes, S tier weapon. And I would take it anytime I see it. The best weapon ever. All right, moving on. Let's take a look at, well, fishing pole. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a tool. It's not a weapon. It's gonna have to go into F tier, unfortunately, just how it is. Then we have the Golf Club. Um, Golf Club, unfortunately, breaks pretty fast, but it's got a decent reach. So if you find one, if you don't have anything else, it's gonna it's gonna work for you for a second or two, but it's not gonna be a long-term weapon. So we have to put it down here in the D tier. And same goes for the planks. Like if you find a plank early on, like in the, your first couple of hours when you're in the game and zombies broke down a door and there's a plank on the ground, you don't have any other weapons. You're gonna pick that up. You're gonna swing that thing and you're gonna hit some zombies. It's not the worst weapon. It's also not the best weapon. So it also goes down here in the D tier, in my opinion. Then we get to a shovel. I do like the shovel. Uh, it's a decent weapon, but it's not like overall the best. If you have a choice between picking, let's say, a shovel or a baseball bat or a crowbar, shovel, you're probably gonna put it lower down the list. It's it's very decent though. Uh, so I think it's very much like the middle of the pack B tier weapon, in my opinion. And I, I do tend to use it sometimes when I don't have other options. And then there was a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer, once again, it's a tool. Not a weapon, don't use it as a weapon. It deals incredible damage to like one single zombie, but it's very, very slow and um, it's gonna get you tired if you actually use this weapon. Also, it's gonna break it and we all know sledges are extremely rare. So if you break one in combat, I would be slightly upset at you. <laughs> so we're gonna have to put it down here in the F tier as a weapon. Don't use it as a weapon. And then we have the snow shovel, which pretty much is the same as the regular shovel. It's 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 decent. And uh, we're gonna put it down here in the B tier. It's probably not one of those that you're gonna use too much, but if you don't really have any other like long blunt weapons, sure, give it a try. Play with it around for a bit. It, it's gonna be okay. And then there's the spike baseball bat. I do love Spike Baseball Bat. You know why? Because it's so easy to repair. All you need is nails and you can just keep on repairing it past the any other point of any other weapons. So you can really, really use and abuse this one for a long time. And besides, it deals a lot of damage. It looks freaking cool because it's a bat with spikes. And we all know a bat is an A tier weapon and you upgrade it with, uh, with nails. Hell yeah. That makes it an S tier weapon. I'm gonna put it down up here in the S tier on the second place behind the crowbar. I think it's a great weapon and I love it. Unfortunately, the uh, spiked plank, it's it's not so good. It's just a bit of an upgrade on the plank. It's not gonna last you too long, unfortunately. It's gonna have to. You know what? You know what? Sure. Let's put it up here in the C tier because you slightly upgraded the base plank. It deserves to be a bit higher, but let's be real. It's it's almost down in the D. And you know who else is down in the D? Your mom. Subscribe now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to the hammer. Ignore what I said. The, the club hammer. It's a, it's a sidearm that is not the best. It's definitely not as good as, let's say, the hand axe. It's gonna do okay-ish, but I think it's also like it's it's down here somewhere actually i'm um, now that i'm looking at this somebody's gonna be really pissed that i put put these two above the stone axe because i know there's a lot of people who do like to use stone axes and you know what that's fine because i'm gonna piss people even more because i'm gonna put the frying pan up here in the b tier and there's my reasoning for it okay hear me out hear me out on this one Usually when you start playing the game, you have no weapons. You just quickly search your starting house or maybe the neighbor's house before you have to start fighting a horde. What are you gonna find? Probably a frying pan. And the frying pan is actually gonna hold against zombies for longer than most of these other supposedly good weapons. It's actually gonna hold and it's <laughs> it, it, it works great. I love frying pans in this game. And you know, I know that people who play like PUBG and stuff also 
used frying pan so i guess there's got to be something to it you know what i'm putting it to b tier of my favorite weapons and i'm sticking to it but let's let's move onwards uh because now we have a hammer hammer as a sidearm i really do like it it's definitely b tier as well and it's high b tier it, it is above the frying pan let's let's give the hammer that because it's also a very very useful as a tool so i do prefer to use it as a tool but usually do find plenty of hammers they're not very rare, so, you know, it's a it's a decent B tier, I think. Then we have the lead pipe. I do enjoy lead pipes and metal bars that we have over here. Uh, actually, I think they're great weapons because you can find them anywhere. And if you don't really have any other weapons, they work great. Uh, I don't know if they should be A tier weapons. I think these two should both be up here in, like, top of the B. I don't think they deserve to be A tier but i really do like using them like very often if i don't have any other of these a tier s tier weapons i'm gonna be definitely switching to these and i'm gonna be using them because they're just so good you know what else i'm gonna be using this bad boy this bad boy it's my favorite sidearm and pretty much on every character that i'm playing with this is my sidearm because it's just it's just good it's sturdy it lasts for a long time, and yes, I cannot remember what it's called right now. It just completely escaped my brain. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> but I think it definitely deserves to be up here in the A tier. So let's move on to uh, the pipe wrench. You're gonna use this as, uh, for plumbing purposes, but otherwise as a weapon, it's an okay uh, sidearm. I think uh, it deserves to be up here in the C tier as a sidearm, but you know probably better used as a tool than as a long time weapon unless you have like scrap weapons uh, mod and you can rework this one into a proper axe or something like that and then let's move to a plunger which i called plumber in one of my community polls and surprisingly not that many people actually uh said hey what is wrong with you it's, it's not a plumber <laughs> <laughs> let's be real uh you can't really use this for long even though i actually made a video uh where i used this for a whole day and got lots and lots of zombie kills with it but that's fine it's we're gonna put it down here in the d because it's just you know it's a last resort weapon just basically above the f tier ones but what is not a last resort weapon is the rolling pin i actually do like rolling pin because it's one of those early weapons same as the frying pan you find it you're like hell yeah I'm gonna use this to smash some zombies. Sure, it's not gonna last you too long, but it's gonna last you to get to the next house. So you can loot that one and find the frying pan. So yes, this actually goes into C tier in my opinion. And then onwards to glory, we have a stone hammer that you made yourself and it's gonna break in like a couple of swings. So uh, yeah, it goes down here with the axes because it's just, I don't know, uh, there should make better crafted weapons and i think they are working on that for the next update but the next update is far far away probably so for now this one gets the d as well as the wooden mallet i gotta admit i almost never use these they're lighter at least a bit i think if i remember correctly but it's just like me what what i'm gonna do with this there's so many better options like if i don't find if this is my first weapon i find yes i'm gonna use it other than, that, other than that, it's just like, you know, it gets the D as well. Then we go to a wrench. Wrench, once again, is, is decent. I prefer it as a tool, but, you know, as a sidearm, it can work just as well as a pipe wrench. And it uh, deals decent damage. Of course, it's very short range, so you're going to have to be up close and personal. But, you know, wrench is like middle of the pack, C tier, it's it's where they deserve to be. But there is a weapon that does not deserve to be in D tier, and it's Katana. We all know that it's an amazing weapon. It works great, it just mows down zombies, and if you find it, you're like, hell yeah, for the next half an hour, I'm gonna be an unstoppable monster, but then it's gonna break. That's like the biggest issue with it. Like, I have, on my strong woman, I have 10 maintenance. I have 10 skill in a long blade. Yet still, you kill 100 zombies with this thing and it's gonna break. Maybe like 200 zombies. That's nothing, you know? You kill thousands of zombies with crowbar and it's still gonna work. But with this one, it's just like 100. And that makes me sad because they really need to have better durability based on how rare they are. And you can't repair them, right? So for that, thank you, Tractor, who just drove by. I really appreciate that. I hope you guys didn't hear that. 
<laughs> We're gonna have to put it up here in the A tier. It, it can't go in the S tier, unfortunately. Then we have the machete. I do like machetes as well. They deal incredible amount of damage and uh, you know, they're very light, easy to swing, decently fast. The only problem is their range is pretty short. So you're gonna have to be up close and personal when swinging, but the good thing is most of the hits are gonna be kills. So you can get a lot of kills with this. And I think Machete deserves to be in the A tier as well. Then we have the fork. Uh, the fork represents the fork, the spoon, the, the butter knife, all those things that you really shouldn't use. Like the pen, the pencil, they're, they, they're there in the game and it says, hey, this is a weapon, you can use it, but you shouldn't. Like you should, you're, you're not gaining anything. You're way better off using your uh, hands and feet and all that. In fact, you're better off using your hands and feet than most of these lower tier weapons, but still. Uh, yeah, this one goes way down in the F tier. Just never use these, it's how it is. And then we have a sickle. I don't remember when was the last time I found one of these. I really, really don't remember. I remember using it before and it was yeah, pretty short range. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember when was the last time, so I'm sorry, Sickle, I can't really give you a proper ranking. We're gonna put you down here in the, in the D tier, because you're just forgettable and non-existent, apparently. Then we have the Hunting Knife. The Hunting Knife is great. If you go in for the, for the Short Blade skill, which I almost never go, I know it's great on Stamina, but the way I build my characters, usually they don't really benefit that much from it, and it's just... It's very short range, it takes a lot of stabs to kill, and you know, those one-shot kills, well, they're great, but when you're fighting a huge horde of zombies, that like half a second of animation that you cannot cancel can get you into a tough spot. Yes, I know that it's not supposed to trigger when the zombie's right next to you, sure, when or where more zombies are right next to you, sure, but it can trigger while zombies are close enough to get you into a tight spot, right? That they will reach you by the time the animation finishes. And I, I don't like that. It's Spears have the same issue, by the way. Uh, but yeah, it's it's an okay side sidearm. And I'm gonna put it up here in the B tier. It's, it's, it's decent, but it's, you know, yeah, it's decent. Low B tier, that's where it belongs. And then we have the kitchen knife, which kind of runs the same issue, but besides the kitchen knife just breaks a million times faster. So it's gonna have to go down here in the D tier. You know what, you can hang out with the sickle. Actually, I would rather use the plunger and I would rather use the plank than the uh, kitchen knife. So yeah, we're gonna use kitchen knife to cut vegetables and such uh, to make food. Then we have the cleaver. I actually had to think for a second what it's called <laughs> again. Uh, so yeah, cleavers, if you if you want to like level up short blade and you don't want to use stabby weapons, this would be the way to go, you know, so if you're kind of like me, but I feel like the cleavers are pretty rare, you don't find them that often, you will, way more often you'll find the hunting knives, right? But the cleavers are decent in that regard, you know, they're very useful and they're very usable, uh, and I do kind of like them. But they're still very short range and they don't do that much of a damage. But still, you know what? They, they deserve to be up here. I'll put them up here in the B tier. Actually above the hunting knife. I know I'm gonna get some hate for that. But you know what? This is my favorite weapons. And that's how it is. Anyway, uh, scissors. Yeah, no, no, not as a weapon. They just have to go down here. They can be a useful tool sometimes, but as a weapon, if you really wanna use them as a weapon, just at least put them on a spear. You know, that's, that's gonna do something. At least. Then we have a screwdriver. Screwdrivers are there's there's tons of them. You'll find them anywhere. Like really, really screwdrivers are never rare. And uh yeah, you can use them as a stabby weapon, just like a knife. They do have some durability actually. Way more than a kitchen knife, so you can use them for that. They are they are better than that. But otherwise, if you really want to use it as a weapon, put it in a spear once again. Uh I guess as a ranking we can put it up here in the in the C tier and you know, leave it there, that's fine. And then we have the smash bottle. You're gonna be smashing nothing but the bo a bottle with this. You're not really gonna smash any brains with that, or it's it's more used for stabbing, so uh, yeah, no. It also goes down here in the F tier, hang out with these. It's just how it is. 
And then we have the, um, the stone knife, which you make yourself. And I do have to say, just the same as with crafted, all the other crafted stuff. It's just not so good, you know, these crafted stone weapons. I know they're very easy to make, extremely easy to make, extremely easy to keep up. They don't take much stamina and I've seen builds where you just have like 50 of these in your backpack and you just mow down hordes. I know, I get it, that can happen. It's not my playstyle, it's not how I would play this game. So I'm going to put it out here with the other of these crafted weapons in the D tier. And now last but not least, we have the spears and the first is the garden fork, which I have to say, I do love garden forks. I think they are a great weapon. They have very high durability. They're pretty much the highest durability spear out there. They do a ton of damage and they're pretty easy and nice to wield. If I find this one, I'm going to go ham with it. Yeah, I think garden fork deserves to be S tier. Hell yeah. Like it's, it's just so good. And I think it should be up here. 100%. Let's move on to other spears. So we have the crafted spear. This is the basic one with no attachments. Uh, there are a bunch of spears that you can attach like all of these scissors and such to it. But we're not really going to rank those because most of them are kind of the same as the crafted spear, right? The good thing about the crafted spear is it remains light. If you attach stuff to it, it gets heavier. So you can't really use it as much. This thing is good if you have the skills, if you have the maintenance, you have the spear skill. But otherwise, it's just gonna break extremely fast. And um, that's unfortunate, but it is a very, very usable weapon. And I think it deserves to be up here in the B tier. I don't know, probably somewhere in the middle of B tier, this one can hang. And you can hang with most of these weapons because it's just how good it is, how easy it is to make, and how many you can just you know, just, just have them in your backpack and just go for it. Yeah, they're gonna break fast, but you know, you're gonna get skills and they're gonna last longer. And then we have the one with the hunting knife, which I think is pretty, pretty good. Now, once again, I think the spears have that the same issue as the knives do when you go into that animation, when you stab somebody. Now, this can be a problem if you have zombie behind you and in front of you, and it's gonna stab the zombie in front of you because it's like, oh, there's no other zombies next to that zombie that could reach you. But if the zombie is behind you, it can actually get to you before you can turn around. So it's, it's sometimes this can get you into positions where you can get yourself killed. And you have to be really careful when fighting with spears. I actually prefer to fight with spears when I have a group of zombies rather than just one zombie. Because, you know, when a group of zombies right in front of you and just does the slash attack instead of the stab attack, that makes it great. But still, if you, if you try to be more careful when fighting zombies with spears, they are an amazing weapon. And I think this one deserves to be in A tier. And then we have the one with the machete. It just deals a ton of damage. It's just great. Unfortunately, you know, you do want to have high skill with spears and maintenance and all that stuff. And carpentry to, to actually use these spears properly without breaking. Um, so you're going to have to break like hundreds of these basic spears before you want to go and start using these good spears. But I think this one deserves to be up here in the S tier as well. And here is the ranking of all my favorite weapons. Like, let me know what you think about it. Would you agree with what I put up here in the S tier? Would, would you agree with what I put in the F tier? I mean, this is what I like to use, but it's also a bit of a power ranking as well. It's just my opinion. And uh, I hope you liked it and check out the other million Project Zomboid videos that I have on my channel. I'll see you guys next time.